Oh no, I forgot to put on deodorant today. But yet nothing, I smell nothing. So here's the deal. I've been eating steak, eggs, and butter for months and suddenly, boom, no more body odor. I don't have to double check my armpits before heading out. My gym clothes aren't wrecked after one wear and my body gas is practically non-existent. If you're keto or carnivore, you may have noticed this too. But why does this happen? What's going on inside our bodies that's making us smell better? Buckle up because we're diving into the science and trust me, it's fascinating. Let's start with the first concept, that dreaded sugar. We all know sugar isn't great for our health, but did you know it also affects how you smell? When you eat a high carbohydrate diet, the excess sugar feeds the bacteria and yeast on your skin. These microbes break down the sugars into smelly byproducts, causing bad breath, stronger body odor, and even funky smelling feet. Now, when you dish the sugar and carbs, those bacteria have less food to ferment, which means less stink. It's like taking away their power source. The second concept, fewer toxins equals fresher sweat. Have you ever wondered why processed food smells so bad when it's left out for too long? Well, those artificial ingredients don't just disappear after you eat them. Many of them get excreted through your sweat and breath. Keto and carnivore diets are naturally lower in processed junk preservatives and artificial flavors. So there's simply less garbage for your body to push out through your skin. Thirdly, fewer fermentable foods equals less gas. We all know someone whose gut turns into full on science experiment every time they eat fiber. That's because fiber ferments in the colon. Feeding gut bacteria and creating gases like methane, hydrogen, and sulfur. And yep, you guessed it, that sulfur gas is what makes farts smell absolutely lethal. When you switch to carnivore, you cut way back on fiber. Less fiber equals less fermentation equals less gas. And not just any gas, less smelly gas. It's a win-win. The fourth issue deals with ketosis and cleaner breath. This is where things get interesting. People new to keto might notice keto breath at first, that slightly fruity acetone-like smell. That's because your body is burning fat and producing ketones, some of which get released through your breath. But here's the cool part. Over time, as your body adapts to using ketones efficiently and that smell fades, it fades because you're eating fewer fermentable carbs. You also reduce oral bacteria that cause bad breath. So long-term, keto and carnivore eaters may report fresher breath even without gum or mouthwash. Issue number five requires we look at the science of sweat. The reason body odor exists in the first place is because of the interaction between sweat and bacteria on your skin. Sweat itself doesn't actually smell. It's the bacteria on your skin that breaks down certain fatty acids in sweat and produce those stinky compounds. And guess what? Studies suggest that diets high in sugar, processed foods, and certain plant-based proteins increase the production of these odor-causing compounds. On the flip side, a diet rich in meat and healthy fats changes the composition of your sweat, thankfully making it less attractive to bacteria. So while people on the standard American diet are reaching for extra deodorant, keto and carnivore folks are just chilling odor-free. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Wait, doesn't eating a lot of meat make you smell worse? Nope, that's a myth. People assume that because meat digests slower than carbs, it somehow rots inside of you. But in reality, meat is efficiently broken down and absorbed in the small intestine, long before it has the chance to ferment or cause odor. In fact, studies have found that vegetarians actually have a more intense body odor due to the breakdown of certain plant compounds like sulfur-containing thiols. So if you've been told that meat will make you stink, rest assured, it's the opposite. All right, I did some digging and guess what? Tons of people in the keto and carnivore communities have reported they no longer need deodorant. They are saying things like, I haven't used deodorant in two years and I never smell. My husband used to have the worst BO until we went carnivore, now nothing. I actually tried to make myself stink by skipping deodorant for a week, didn't happen. It's been a game changer for so many. Now, now, full disclosure, I still wear deodorant because I'm not that brave yet. But hey, if you're watching this and you've noticed the same thing, let me know in the comments. So let's wrap this up. 
Why do people on keto and carnivore smell better? Less sugar, fewer toxins, less fiber fermenting in the gut, better sweat composition, and fewer odor-causing compounds overall. If you've experienced this, share your story below. And if you haven't tried keto or carnivore, maybe it's time to test it out. Your body, your gut, and your loved ones might just thank you. Like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who needs to hear it. Because trust me, this might be the most unexpected health benefit ever.